In the heart of Lake Charles, Louisiana, stands the Calcasieu Courthouse. Built in 1912, this courthouse has witnessed over a century of trials for people who have committed heinous crimes. However, one outlaw in particular continues to inhabit the hallways of the Calcasieu Courthouse, making it one of the most haunted locations in the state of Louisiana. Tony Joe Henry was born Annie Beatrice McQuinston on January 3, 1916. Even in her early life, Tony Joe was no stranger to tragedy, as her mother passed away from tuberculosis when she was just a child. As a teenager, Tony Joe worked in a factory to help support her family. However, when her foreman discovered that her mother passed from tuberculosis, he terminated her for fear of having an employee that could expose other workers to the illness. When Tony Joe delivered the news to her father, he became abusive and beat her. Eager to escape her father's abuse, Tony left home and became dependent on herself to make a living, resorting to any possible method of making money, including selling her body. With her new profession came a new identity, and Annie Beatrice McQuinston took on the name Tony Joe Hood. After a brief period working on the streets in Louisiana, Tony Joe picked up employment at a local brothel, where she gained a few regular patrons. Among these patrons was a man named Claude Henry, described as a down-on-his-luck prize fighter who went by the name Cowboy. The two fell in love and wed on November 25, 1939. Shortly after the couple enjoyed a honeymoon in California, Cowboy's outlaw past caught up with him. He was arrested for the murder of a San Antonio police officer, Arthur Sinclair. In January 1940, Cowboy was found guilty and sentenced to 50 years in a high-security Texas prison. Fueled by her love for Cowboy, Tony Joe crafted a plan to break him out of prison. To do this, Tony Joe needed three things, a weapon, money, and an accomplice. Tony Joe recruited ex-con Harold Arkey Burks for his knowledge of the layout of the prison where Cowboy was held. They then convinced two teenagers to rob a gun store to steal weapons and ammunition for their heist. By this point, they only needed funds to support them on their journey from Louisiana to Texas to break Cowboy out of prison. As Tony Joe and Arkey were hitchhiking their way to Texas, they encountered a traveler named Joseph P. Calloway. While Tony Joe and Arkey were riding with Calloway, Tony Joe developed a plan to steal Calloway's car to use as a getaway vehicle once they successfully picked up Cowboy. Arkey and Tony Joe held Calloway up at gunpoint and instructed him to pull over so they could force him into the trunk of his car. However, Tony Joe's plan soon became more sinister as she realized she would need a change of clothes for Cowboy to change into after he escaped. Tony Joe ordered Calloway to strip, then, as she recovered his clothes, she shot him in the head. This deed served as the final straw for Arky. Afraid of Tony Joe and the extreme measures she would take to free her husband, Arky abandoned Tony Joe and took the car with him. Tony Joe hitchhiked her way back to Louisiana, where she was ultimately arrested for the murder of Joseph P. Calloway. Tony Joe received three separate trials at the Calcasieu Courthouse and with each trial, she received a conviction and death penalty sentence. While Tony Joe was awaiting to serve her punishment, the state of Louisiana changed its method for enforcing the death penalty from hanging to death by electric chair. Four days prior to her death, Cowboy managed to escape from prison and see Tony Joe one final time. She was executed on November 28, 1942. Tony Joe Henry is the only woman to ever be executed by electric chair in the state of Louisiana. Although Tony Joe Henry died in 1942, her spirit is believed to still roam the hallways of the Calcasieu Courthouse. Some have reported hearing whispers and screams coming from the hallways of the courthouse. Occasionally, the courthouse lights flicker, as if the electrical current is being disrupted or redirected to some other source. Visitors have reported smelling the scent of what is believed to be Tony Joe Henry's perfume permeating the hallways, while others claim that certain areas of the courthouse reek of the stench of burning hair thank you for making your way through the video if you like this video hit that like and subscribe button and give me your thoughts in the comments down below and as always until next time